Lisa, I hope you have solved the assignment which I gave to you on the chapter parallel lines. Uh, today I am going to discuss another three important questions which were given in the assignment. So let us discuss this question, question number six. So in the given figure, L is parallel to M and uh, it is parallel to N. So we are given three lines. So as you can see that we have three lines, L parallel to the line M and this is parallel to the line N. Also it is mentioned that angle one is 135 degrees. And we have to find the values of angle 2, then angle 3, after that angle 4, and then angle 5. So this is basically the question. So now you know that uh, for solving these questions, we would be using properties of the parallel lines and transversal. And we see that uh, different types of angles are formed when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal. And there is a unique relationship between those types of angles. So let us start uh, doing this uh, question. So here you can see that uh, first we are going to find angle 2. So for this we are going to consider line L and this line is parallel to line M and here I am going to consider the transversal P. Right. So here you see that you are given angle 1 and angle 1 is 135 degrees, so we have to find angle 2. So what type of angles are these? Yes, you are right. These are alternate interior angles. And what is the relation between alternate interior angles? Yes, alternate interior angles are equal. So what will be the measure of angle 2? Correct. So angle 2 will also be equal to angle 1, that is 135 degrees. Okay, now let us see how we can find angle 3. So here we are going to consider lines M and N which are parallel to each other and the transversal P. Now can you tell me if I am marking this angle as X, what is the relation between X and angle 2? What types of angles are these? Perfectly fine. So these are corresponding angles and you know that when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal corresponding angles are equal so angle 2 will be equal to x and what is the measure of angle 2 yes it is 135 degrees so x will also be 135 degrees now quickly tell me what will be x plus 3 do you see this relationship between x and angle 3 what is the relationship Yes, x plus angle 3 is making a linear pair. So, x plus angle 3 will be equal to 180 degrees. So, what will be angle 3? You can simply find angle 3 by saying that angle 3 will be equal to angle 3 will be equal to 180 minus x. So, 180 minus x. And what is this x? x is 135. So 180 minus 135 gives us 45. So angle 3 will be equal to 45 degrees. I hope this is clear to you. Now tell me, do you see a relationship between angle 3 and angle 4? If we say this line P is uh, parallel to line Q, and we can consider this N as transversal. Yes, here we have to mention above that P is parallel to Q also. You're right. We have to mention here P is parallel to Q. Along with the, it is given that uh, L is parallel to M is parallel to N. So let me write it here also that uh, P is also parallel to Q. It, this is also given, right? Okay, so here if P is parallel to Q, so what relation and N is the transversal. So what, what line we are taking here is this uh, N is the transversal. So tell me uh, what will be this uh, 
a relationship between uh, angle 3 and angle 4. So angle 3 will be equal to angle 4. And angle 3 is, uh, uh, we have found this to be 45 degree. So what will be the measure of angle 4? Yes, angle 4 will be equal to, we can write it here. Angle 4 will be equal to, yes, this is also 45 degrees because they are making corresponding angle. Similarly, tell me angle 5. Do you see some relationship? When we say M is parallel to N and Q is transversal. Yes, you are right. This is also making a pair of corresponding angles. And when corresponding angles are equal, the lines are parallel. So here we see that lines are parallel. So corresponding angles are equal. So angle 4 is equal to angle 5. So what will be the measure of angle 5? So angle 5 will also be equal to 45 degrees. I hope uh, this question is clear to you. Okay, let us move on to the next one. And the next one is very interesting. It says, if each angle of a quadrilateral is a right angle, then prove that the opposite side of the quadrilateral are parallel okay interesting so let us make a quadrilateral in which uh, each angle is uh, uh, given to be uh, 90 degrees okay so let me roughly draw this so it can be either a square or it can be either a rectangle so here it is given that each angle is uh, uh, 90 degrees and this is a quadrilateral I have taken over here. So you tell me one thing. Uh, can you see a relationship between the angles which are on the same side of transversal? Here if we consider the two lines AB and CD. And intersected by a transversal. Say for example first time considering AD as transversal. So what relationship do you observe between the two angles which are there on the same side of transversal? Yes, it is 90 plus 90. That is uh, 180. So we say that co-interior angles are supplementary. So we say that uh, uh, this uh, AB is parallel to CD. Sa same way we can do with the AD and uh, BC. Uh, yes. So here we will be using the property that uh, co-interior angles are supplementary. So the lines are parallel. So we will be using that for the pair AB and CD and for the second pair of lines AD and CB as well. Right. So let us move on to the next question discussion. Uh, two parallel lines L and M, they are cut by a transversal. T. Okay, so we have two parallel lines. They are cut by the transversal T. Okay, and angles on the same side of transversal, I can mark two angles. So these are the angles on the same side of transversal. So we see that uh, they are given to be 2x minus 8 degrees and uh, 3x minus 7 degrees, right? So here what we have to do is we have to find these angles. So let me first uh, make the figure and then you can understand it better. So here we are given that uh, these lines are L and uh, M and both are parallel to each other. And here T is the transversal and we are given, I'm marking this as angle 1 and this as angle 2. So it is given that angle 1 is 2x minus 8 degrees. And angle uh, 2 is 3x minus uh, 7 degrees. So angle 1 is equal to 2x minus uh, 8 degrees. And uh, it is given that angle 2 is equal to, this is equal to uh, 3x minus 7 degrees. Now you tell me it is given that line lines L and M are parallel to each other. So what is the relationship between angle 1 and 2? What types of angles are these? Yes, you are right. These are making a pair of co-interior angles. And you know that when two parallel lines, they are cut by the transversal, 
the co-interior angles are supplementary. So can we say angle 1 plus 2 angle 2 equals 180 degrees? Yes. So we will be make, finding a relationship between 1 and 2. And by the help of this, we can get a linear equation. So we see that 2x minus 8 plus 3x minus 7 equals 180. So can you simplify this and find the value of x? Yes, when we simplify this, we get x comes out to be 39. So x comes out to be 39. And by the help of this, we can get the value of angle 1 and angle 2. So what will be angle 1? Angle 1 will be equal to 2 into 39 minus 8. So that is 78 minus 8, which gives us 70. 70 degrees is the value of angle 1. And what will be angle 2? Angle 2 will be equal to 3 into 39 minus 8. So what is 3 into 39? 3 into 39 is 117. So 117 minus 7, that gives us 110 degrees. So this is how we have uh, solved this question. I hope uh, all the three questions are clear to you and practice these questions. And uh, in my next uh, video, I would be discussing more questions based on this chapter. All the best.